What's going on guys, Panel with the 3F KCFO Gaming, and today I'm going to be talking about multiple topics, multiple information uh, that I just haven't covered in separate videos yet, reason being I haven't had any gameplay to actually uh, talk about this stuff, I don't want to just make a recording of a video, that'd just be stupid, so, I think what you're watching is Hardpoint, I think Exit Wound and uh, John, or Cowboys fan, usually, it's KTFO Flight, alright, that's what I'm going to address it now on, Flight, um, played a GB, uh, I'm pretty sure it was headquarters on Plaza, and I'm pretty sure they made the kids rage quit. So, yeah, that's that. Uh, I, I think I was going to upload it separately, you know, just to upload a GB for whatever reason. Uh, but I never did, don't know why. This was gameplay was during when I didn't have my PlayStation 3, so, hope you enjoy the background gameplay. But what I want to talk to you guys about is the Xbox One and what happened today. So, <clears throat> if you didn't guys in here, uh, I don't know what the hell has been going on if you haven't heard this, but Microsoft has put, you know, use game limits, fucking, uh, always online bullshit, and the cocky Don, whatever fucking CEO asshole said you can go play 360 if you don't have internet connection or whatever, douchebag of the year. <laughs> but, um... So, basically, uh, if you didn't know what all that was, um, Xbox, uh, you had to, for to, or in order to borrow a game, you had to, the friend hadn't, alright, this is just fucked up, alright, I'm, I'm just trying to explain this. For, in order for you to give someone, like, a game to borrow, you had to be friends with them for 30 days, uh, you can only borrow it to one person one time, and it will be locked onto your account. And they said they had a plan for used games, but no one really knew what it was, and uh, we didn't understand how it... Used games were fucked on the Xbox One, basically. Always online, you would have to sign in to Xbox Live within 24 hours, or your Xbox One would not work. You could not play it, it'd just be, you know, a paperweight uh, on your desk, wherever. Uh, and if you were playing on a game... And within an hour, I believe it was, you couldn't, you, you had, it, it would just stop, it would stop working, you'd have to go back and do whatever. So today, uh, the 19th of June, 2013, Microsoft basically repealed all that stuff, just said, fuck that, we, they got so much backlash for it, they, uh, they got shitted on, I mean, Sony even made a video saying, uh, you know, how to share games on PlayStation 4 and just give it, you know, he just, is, uh, if you haven't seen this video, you gotta go check it out. Basically, it's the Japanese CEO and the American CEO, and the American CEO just goes, there you go, and he says, thanks. <laughs> That's it, it's just basically shitting on Microsoft, and the whole, like, 10, 20 minutes of the E3 conference of Sony's was just shitting on Microsoft for their... Bullshit practices, they're money making bullshit. So, they basically just took all that out. Uh, why? Because all the backlash and all the bullshit that they've been getting from, uh, you know, the community and everything else. <clears throat> so, that's the deal with the Xbox One at the moment. It'll probably draw more people to the Xbox One. Probably, you know, I, I know the fanboy. There's fanboys for everything, you know, but people from Xbox are actually switching to PlayStation 4. I know a lot of people that are switching to the PlayStation 4. Uh, I, I don't know a lot of people that are even getting the Xbox One. I know a hell of a lot more people interested in the PlayStation 4 than the Xbox One. And I think all the polls, the X, uh, PS3 is winning, uh, not PS3, PS4 is winning by a lot. Uh, that, but this will probably change the tide, so Sony might want to do something, you know, to, I don't know, because that was their big marketing, that was their big jump, I, I think they already got the jump, though, so I think everyone's still a little bit turned off by Microsoft, um, you know, just the bullshit practices that they tried to do, it's just, it's just sort of, like, dirty, you know what I mean, it's like, it's like cheap, um, so, We'll see what Microsoft can do. Uh, they're still in the console wars. I, you know, it's not like the Nintendo Wii. It's just Wii U. Sorry, that's just completely out. It's bullshit. Um, so, we'll it'll be interesting to see what 
Sony does to react to this uh, to see if they can sell their console and uh, it's probably going to sell more just because it's less as my opinion uh, but you know people are always going to get the Xbox people are always going to get the Playstation it's just the way it is <coughs> and I think that's pretty much it I have to talk about the Xbox One for now uh, I pretty much covered everything uh yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm probably going to get the Xbox One later uh, once the price probably drops. I'm getting PlayStation 4 release day. Already pre-ordered it with Call of Duty Ghosts and Battlefield 4. Uh, so check out the unboxing on the channel whenever it's released. We don't, we don't have a solid release day yet. But when we do, just check out this channel and you know we'll have everything. Call of Duty Ghosts gameplay, fucking Battlefield 4, all over this fucking channel. So you might want to just check that out. Uh, another topic I want to talk about is Black Ops 2. Now, uh, the third map pack was released. I, I made a tease. I, I made a uh, like a leaked video, but as soon as I made the leaked video, the actual trailer came out. So it was like, there's no point in me making a leaked video when there's more information out there and I could give you more. So this is my opportunity to give you more. <clears throat> so the trailer came out it's called vengeance uh the four multiplayer maps one zombie map uh the zombie map's called buried it's a I'm trying to think it's like a western like it's like a west like an old west town like mining town underground which would be which would be kind of cool and there's like this new like boss type thing not really sure i know i think syndicate said you might have to feed him candy cuz he sort of looks like like you know, he's kind of got Down syndrome. I'm not. Uh, I'm not trying to like that. That's what it looked like to me. It's sort of like he was kind of, you know, not there in the head. But uh, so that's the. Uh, and there's a new perk machine too. We don't really know what it's called. Uh, all we know is that it's red. So we just might want to. I don't know. I'll give you more information on that when I get it. Also, oh, fuck. Uh, the new Raygun, Raygun Mark II. Uh, it's, it's basically an assault rifle, um, ray gun. Uh, I, I don't know if it's three round burst. To me, it sort of looked like a three round burst. I'm not really sure. Uh, it, it did to me a little bit in the trailer. You haven't checked, uh, checked the trailer out. I'll be in the link in the description. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about, uh, the map pack. Mm, regarding the zombies, so the Rhaegar Mark II, and, and, oh, and it, it's available in all zombie maps, so, Transit, uh, Green Run, or the same thing, <laughs> Die Rise, Mob of the Dead, and Buried, they'll all have the Rhaegar Mark II, now, I'm not sure if it's gonna be, like, replacing the Ray Gun, or if it's gonna be, like, a separate slot in the mystery box, so, we'll see when it, the time comes, who knows, so, the four multiplayer maps are Detour, Uplink, Rush, and Cove, Detour is uh, a bridge, it's a full on bridge, is an upper level and a lower level, basically the lower level is close quarters combat, like shotguns and SMGs, up top is more snipers, assault rifles, and LMGs, uh, so that'd be interesting to see uh, how the map plays, I mean you don't really know how the map plays until you know you actually play it, so uplink is a reimagined map of Summit. Basically, they turned Summit from Black Ops 1. It's a snowy map. You'll probably remember it once you see it. Uh, they basically turned that and just switched it into like a jungle. Like, basically switched it from a, a snow map to a jungle map. So, that's pretty cool. I love that map uh, in Black Ops 1. I'm glad that they brought it back. I'm excited for that. Hopefully, it's not overplayed like... Um, Studio is and goddamn fucking Black Ops 2. Oh, oh, stop playing studio, guys. I'm sick of this bullshit. All right, <laughs> Rush is a fast close quarter combat engagement. This is the paintball one. Uh, you're in a paintball course, so, course. So there's like an arena. It's like all types of paintball areas. There's like a sort of woody type area in it. Uh, there's also like the actual like stadium paintball where there's like mats and shit everywhere. Uh, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, I don't know, I'll see how it plays, there's a lot of weird shapes you can like, you know, uh, go in and out and, you know, dodge cover and stuff, so that'd be cool and, and interesting to see what they have in store for there, or that, yeah, 
Uh, Cove is uh, apparently for all-out conflict or whatever. It's an island in the middle of the Indian Ocean. You're basically surrounded by water. It looks like a pretty small map. Uh, it looks pretty goddamn tiny. Uh, I don't know if that's just like how they showed it in the trailer, but to me, it looked like a pretty tiny map. Uh, maybe just a little bit bigger than Nuketown. But it was, it's a round map, though, so it's not like Nuketown. It was just like a little, like, long gated rectangle. It's like a round map. Um, so we'll see all that plays. And that's pretty much all I have today about Black Ops 2 and the Xbox One. I'll keep you posted. I hope you enjoy this video, guys. Check out for my next video and have a nice day.